whose table did you go up to today in the AFC? Because you, I mean, you can't cover the whole darn thing. There's 16 different coaches speaking at the same time. Um, just to give you, a, I guess, give everyone a glimpse on what you think the story is or was this morning. Who who'd you who just spoke? Who would you speak to today? Well, I think Mike Tomlin was one that was notable because the first time that he had talked since the acquisition of Russell Wilson, as well as the trade for Justin Fields, he left the tiniest bit of wiggle room in terms of what I've reported, what other people have reported, which is that Russell Wilson is the starter. But Tomlin said the words I use are pole position. He's in the pole position. Tomlin said, I think it's important to kind of you know set your depth chart, people to know what their roles are going into the offseason. He said Justin is going to get the opportunity when it comes time for training camp to show his abilities is what Tomlin said. So in essence, Fields is going to get reps, but this is not going to be a split in the reps, alternating series type of a thing. Russell Wilson goes in as the starting quarterback, as I've reported. And then Justin Fields also is, of course, going to get opportunities. And you would think Arthur Smith is going to be dreaming up some things you might be able to do with him in the red zone. Uh, Jim Harbaugh, definitely worth uh, seeing. You know, I, I'm trying to remember back. It's been like, you know, close to 10 years since he was an NFL coach. But it felt like he was really engaging and wanted everybody to come over and was enjoying <laughs> answering questions. You know, one of the best ones to him was, you know, he was asked about Keenan Allen and, you know, what, what was it like and why they decided to trade him. And he goes, oh. $23 million a year, living in Chicago? Who's got it better than Keenan Allen? And that was kind of how he answered the question. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, he got a lot of money that he wasn't going to make from the Chargers. He gets to go to another team, and you know, he seemed like he was pretty happy about that. He was also saying, you know, over and over, maybe he's trying to will this into existence, but, hey, you know, there's rumblings that maybe the top four, quarter, top four picks will all be quarterbacks, which, of course, would mean your guy, J.J. McCarthy, and his guy, Rich, would probably be the fourth one who's getting up there. Well, then, Harbaugh said, we basically have the number one pick because they're sitting there at number five, that's going to be a fascinating story to watch how the top of this draft plays out. Sean Payton, the Broncos coach, said you know he does think it's realistic that they could trade up. Obviously, they're not exactly uh, rich with picks right now, but they're not completely depleted either, despite all that they gave up to get uh, Sean Payton and, of course, Russell Wilson before him. So the Broncos are the one team that on paper, I think you have the least idea of what exactly they're going to do at quarterback come September, but you've still got uh, some runway as we – lead up to this thing and then there were some other various updates around the room you know joe burrow it sounds like making good progress returning from his injury robert Sala said aaron Rodgers should be ready prior to the start of spring workouts which makes sense since he was you know if they'd made the playoffs Rodgers was fully intending that he might be able to get out there and uh you know try to do something in january coming off that ruptured achilles tendon so there, there's obviously a lot going on in that room you're kind of you know catching bits and pieces of, of various conversations but it's a quarterback-driven league, and with some of the quarterback movement, Rich, that we have seen so far within the league, it, it, there's still a lot more to come just because there are a lot of good quarterbacks at the top of this draft, and there's a bunch of quarterback-needy teams all drafted in the top round one. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.